guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but you already know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The golden nugget today is stop second guessing yourself. I want to start talking about this right away, but I know I got to pull from this manifestation. Job, so let's do this first, and then we're going to talk about it because I really want to just dive on in. Let's see what we get for today. A lot of y'all are second guessing y'all selves, and it's 2020, and ain't no time to be second guessing. Not, not in 2020. You just got to go and do the thing. You got you to just go and do it. You just got to go and do it. Don't second guess. Don't second guess. Cause why? Because what? God got you. That's what I'm talking about. Don't second guess yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Why? Because it's already wet, worked out. It's already worked out. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop second guessing yourself. And why? Because God is going to grant you wet more favor. That's all I'm saying. Listen, a lot of you guys are second guessing yourselves. And it's concerning your gifts and your talents. God has blessed you with certain gifts and talents, and you have it. You have it. You know you can do it. You know you're doing it. You're already doing it. But for some reason, you backtracking. Why? Because you're second-guessing yourself. You're asking yourself, am I really that good? Do I really bake cakes that well? Am I really a good enough chef? Can I really sing that well? Can I really speak that well? Am I really that great of a lawyer? Am I really that great of a doctor? Am I really that great of a doctor? You're asking yourself that. You're second guessing who you are. Listen, when God grants you a gift or a talent, it's already complete. It's already whole. It's already perfect. You just got to make sure that you're together, which means we're aligned and connected, which means what? God is at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you that you're able to see within your journey with some clarity. And then when you're in that space, you're able to operate what? In your gift perfectly. And then you won't have to second guess yourself. You already know that what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing. And guess what? Knowing, K-N-O-W, knowing that there are other people doing what you're doing, it won't even phase you. And I think that's what's going on. A lot of y'all are not all the way aligned and connected, which means what? Now you're comparing yourself to everybody. You're saying, yeah, I bake cakes and pies. I'm a baker, but it's a lot of people that bake cakes and pies, and they baking pound cakes like I am. Can I tell you something? They're not you. People are still coming to you buying your cakes and pies and pound cakes and whatnot. They can go down the street to Sarah or to Johnny and buy his cakes. For some reason, for some reason, they keep coming back to you. That should tell you something. They selling the same thing you selling, but people keep coming to you. That's because you make it unique. It's with your hands, with that gift that brings it all together. So you can't second guess yourself. You just gotta make sure you're together as for a stand line and connected and appreciate that God chose you to operate in that gift or in that talent. You have what it takes, soar in it. 2020 is not the year to start backtracking and second guessing yourself. Listen, y'all, way back when I used to ask so many questions after I would perform, whether if I was playing an instrument or if I was speaking to a group of people or if I was singing. Whatever I was doing, I would always be asking my husband or my sister or my mom, how did I do? How did I sound? Do you think they got it? Did you, do you think they understood it? What did it look like? Because I, I make stuff too. I create, y'all, I'll be putting my hand to work around here sometimes. I'll be like, does it really look good? Did it really taste? I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you. I used to ask so many questions afterwards. Until the point they would say, goodness, girl. Sonya, it was good. Well, Sonja, it was good. You did great. It was like, oh my God. But I was trying to convince myself because I really didn't know. Why? Because I wasn't all the way aligned and connected. I wasn't all the way aligned and connected. So I was second guessing. Whether or not if I was really as good as people were saying I was good, as good as, if that made any sense. So you can't second guess yourself. Now, when I speak to different people or do certain things or if I play an instrument or sing or whatever, I don't question myself whether it was good or not, especially if they paying me to do it. I ain't gonna question myself, did I do a great job? I ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be on me to really figure out, did I really do a good job? Am I really good? No, I know I am. I know what God has blessed me with. I know. And I know I'm striving to stay aligned and connected, which means what? I know they're going to get it. 
And if they didn't get it, that means what? They probably went all the way to line of connected, so they weren't able to receive it right then and there. Later on, when they get a line of connected, they'll be like, now I get what she was talking about. Now I understand the song that she was singing. Okay, I get it now. So that's where I am now, and that's who I want you to be. I want you to stop second-guessing yourself. God did not make a mistake when he gave you that gift, when he placed you in control of that gift. He didn't make no mistake. He know that it's your hands that need to operate it. And don't worry about if anybody else is doing the same thing, because you cannot compare. Because I told you what, comparing yourself to people, places, and things will rob you of your peace of mind, rob you of happiness, and it will most certainly rob you of success. So that ain't even an option we need to go down. So listen, stop second guessing yourself. You good. You good. You good. You good at it. You are great at it. You are awesome at it. You did the thing. You going to do the thing. So listen, don't be dragging your feet in 2020. Go on, do it. You can do it. You can do it. You got it. You are great at it. You are great at it, okay? Don't second guess yourself. Do not second guess yourself, okay? Y'all get it, got it good, I hope so. If you didn't, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mess with smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. The best is yet to come, so you might as well do what? Inhale, exhale, what? Inhale, exhale. Listen, y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.